At the edge of the fire, an exhausted Hilma Baron awaits as her smoking rack fills the cave. She's not even sure how many hours she's been working. She's covered in blood, head to toe, and what meat that is spoiled has been piled onto the fire. It's clear that in the future, when dealing with a creature as large as a Taurosaurus, additional smokers will be needed. Kia ora, Legionnaires, Rikon here, and welcome back to Cataclysm in a Wood. We're here with Hilma Baron in her nice, warm little home under the ground here. Now affectionately known as Hotel Oscar. Well, Hotel Oscar Mike Echo for uh, its full name here. You know, with being a helicopter pilot, I feel like it makes sense to give her home this code. So yes, Hotel Oscar for short. And in between episodes, I discovered a new feature, a feature that's probably been in Cataclysm for a while now. We have a diary. Yeah, it's unbound. So as long as you go into the keybinding menu, you can bind it to something. I've got it bound to F1 at the moment. Uh, and this just saves a little snapshot in time. We can see exactly when we wrote it, which I guess is a little cheesy because we can tell what time of day it is based on when we write these things. Uh, but what we have here is a list on the side. I decided that this would be the best way for me to keep track of things in game, what I'm wanting to achieve, what Hilma is wanting to achieve. And I can imagine her just scrolling this or scraping it into the back of one of those hides that she's got. And so, as you can see, this is our list for today. We want to finish that wooden shovel. We want to build a stone fireplace, which is going to require 40 rocks. And then we are going to want to make at least four more smoking racks outside. We're going to shift the one that's inside outside. And so for that, we need 32 rocks and 32 long sticks to be able to make all of those and we're more than likely going to shift the charcoal kiln outside as well just so all of that stuff is away from where we are sleeping now we could stop this process and you know rebuild it outside but i don't want to interrupt it we still have meat that is smoking on there at the moment and it's got about two hours left so we're going to spend the rest of our time today because it is it is later today we're going to go out and we're going to see if we can gather up some long sticks and maybe even some rocks. We do have the fireplace outside, but we're probably going to want to keep that there for now. We're just going to drink up some of our clean water at this stage to get nice and slaked. We're dead tired, so we, we know that that is going to be a little bit of a problem for us. And we probably want to grab our cudgel if we're going to be bashing things. There we go. We will take that cudgel. We'll also take the stone axe head with us as well. I mean, we could use the hammer, but the cudgel is a much more expendable tool for us to use in this instance. So we are going to head outside into what I think is a clear and calm evening. We will see. And yeah, seemingly it is nice and clear. Okay, so... We need to do some rock gathering. We probably don't need this fireplace anymore, so we can go and get some rocks back from that, and it shouldn't take us that long to actually deconstruct it. <clears throat> here we go, deconstruct simple furniture, just over here, and there we are. We've got 20 rocks out of that and a whole heap of wood ash. We'll just put that into our pack for the time being, as uh, we're gonna try and see if we can find some small boulders and also try and find some long sticks. So just going for young trees and giving them the bash. Nice, got a small boulder down here. Go and start giving that the whack. Except now we don't seem to be damaging it. Our strength is only six at the moment as opposed to the seven that we usually have. It's probably down because of sleep and pain and well, we're actually not in pain at the moment. I guess we'll just gather up the rocks that are around. Well, we've actually got all of the long sticks that we're going to need at this point. We've got 38 of them. We just need rocks now, really. We're going to need 72 in total for all of our construction stuff. Uh, and we've only got 21 right now. So, yeah, there's, there's a fair bit more that needs to happen there. Also, the other reason the cudgel might not be helping us at the moment is uh, it's quite damaged. So we might just need to try and quickly make a new cudgel. It takes five minutes to do it, and we just need to use a stick to do that. So yeah, we'll drop our cudgel, and now we have this nice new cudgel, and it does do a lot more bash damage. So I feel like that's gonna do what we want it to do, and this old cudgel, I mean, we could probably just chuck it in the fire. Yep, 
still don't seem to be damaging it though. Unfortunately, we might just be, um, yeah, a little too, a little too weak from being too tired at the moment. There definitely are boulders around here, but there are only a few rocks. We don't really have a better bashing tool right now, so it might just have to be tomorrow when we end up working on that. We can still build some things though, some of the smoking racks. And looking around here at the moment, I'm just gonna take down that fire source. Cause the thing is we will need to have a fire source of some kind to ignite them, to light them. Um, I kind of like the idea of having them down here just because it looks like a nice nook to keep them in. We could keep uh, another one here and maybe one up there as well. As long as we have like a flaming torch in our hand, we should be able to ignite it to, to you know, get the process going. So I think for now, we'll start to try and construct some down here. We do just need to go grab the rest of our tools to do that though. And that means we can check on the actual smoker that's down here and see how that's going. It's, uh, it's still going at this stage. Let's see if we can just kind of wind around it and see how much longer it has left on it. Inspect, yeah, an hour. Okay, all right, leave that going for a little while longer then. Okay, all right, so an hour and 30 minutes for us to get this constructed. So that means that the other one will be done by the time that we finish this off. And there we go. And we are feeling absolutely just stuffed after all of this so we're gonna make our way back downstairs and um well we can have something proper to eat and it's oh it's so much more <laughs> so much more pleasant here we can see that we have uh even more smoked meat here um which is the stuff that we stored earlier we'll remove the rest of this food from the rack which i think has probably just gotten put down here for now and we can look at disassembling that rack tomorrow um but we did get a fair amount out of this still. Um, even though we've got a lot of rotten food in here, we still preserved a whole heap. The, the chunks of fat, we still have a week to process those, so I'm not super concerned about that right this second. Ha! Ah, just having a quick look in our crafting menu here, we have a new fish trap. This is something that we should be able to make ourselves now, just using birch bark. It's a basket fish trap uses our basket weaving to be able to do it. Very nice. Ooh, ooh, I like it. I like it. That's passive hunting for us. I think that's something that we'll probably end up making. It does take seven hours to make, so we're saving that for a rainy day, I think. Ah, got distracted again. A polishing stone. We do need a polishing stone for a number of other things down the line, but four days. Oh, yeah, we're not we're not worrying about that right now. Uh, the crucible, same deal. We will get into iron working, but we're focusing on the fundamentals here first and foremost. We are still well and truly in the Stone Age. Let's have a look at our fire and see how it's doing. Nine to thirteen hours. I think if we shift log into there, that'll be good for like the whole night. So we'll go and push that on in there. It's going to smoke for a little while before it's um, you know properly consumed, but. I think we should be safe to rest. I'd love to be able to make us some cattail jelly to be able to put onto our wounds, but unfortunately, we don't have any at this stage. Yeah. And because we are getting towards the end of spring, we should be able to start planting soon. So that is why that wooden shovel is going to be important for us. For now though, it is time for us to sleep. Oh boy, okay, so we wake up, not sure on the time of day. Uh, we're still tired because we didn't put the blindfold on, so we're not gonna oversleep here. Um, we lost some practical skill in a few different things, it seems. And applied science has dropped down to one. So the thing is, we still have theoretical knowledge, but we don't have practical knowledge. Electronics has dropped down, rifles has dropped down, tailoring has dropped down as well. Um, and the thing is that it does take longer for that to happen, uh, because we have a good memory, so the skill decay is slower. Hey, our strength is up, that's good, so we should be able to actually bash and get some rocks today. Honestly, a stone fireplace, I'm definitely looking forward to having that. First thing we are going to do though is just take down the smoking rack here. We'll end up taking that stuff upstairs with us. And now, back to food. I'm tempted just to eat the eggs that we have for now. 
yeah, we could try and keep them around to be able to get more eggs over time, but I've heard some good arguments against it. Uh, having multiple entities here will slow things down for quite a bit, and we're not ready to farm. We don't have fences, we are going to have trouble keeping things in one place, and we need to worry about Caterpillar as well who we are going to bring closer to the fire at this point. So let's go ahead and untie a caterpillar and um, let's bring you on over here. We'll kind of get you close, but not too close. And we'll tie you up there and we'll have a quick play with you as well, giving you some of those slithers of meat that we have there. Lovely, softly purring. And I will just double check and I think caterpillar might be more healthy. Yeah, because caterpillar was on two for ages. So... I think she is healing, but it is, um, it's a slow process because we can't apply anything to her wounds. Right, um, but yeah, about the eggs, we could let the, oh, yeah, see, look, those are already rotten. They, di they didn't hatch. Huh, yeah. Let's cook these eggs up because I don't want to miss out on more eggs. Uh, we could go for deluxe. What is going to make it deluxe? Is it using smoked meat? Let's see. O honestly, I can't, I can't see. Um. Uh, we can scroll down this one, but we can't, we can't scroll down the other one. It is using flesh, so I imagine it probably is using, um, ah, yeah, it's going to use one or the other here. Um, let's just use some of our smoked meat in there. I'm okay with that. I feel like that'll be a pretty good meal. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, that rawhide is going to spoil. And I'd like to not miss out on that. So we, we might have to spend some more time just kind of going hard at that today. We'll start off by having a whole heap of these deluxe eggs to get started. We'll just drink some nice clean water as well. We don't need anything special at this stage. Moderate calorie intake. So we definitely want to try and up that. We got six days on the chunks of fat. And we've got three weeks on our smoked meat. We can make that dehydrated and it will last even longer but I'm not so concerned about that right this second. Um, the hides, we need to cure them. And thankfully, curing them doesn't actually take that long. Yeah, so it's just going to take five minutes for us to be able to do that. We'll do as many as we can. So we'll just start repeating the craft and we'll do so until we are out of salt. There we go. We can no longer make that craft. I think we did get a fair few out of that, but we still have 105 rawhide left over. We can't make any more salt at the moment, can we? No, that is a lie. We actually have quite a bit in the way of hickory root. We don't gain anything from batch cooking this though. 48 minutes at a time. That's going to give us a fair chunk of salt though. We're getting 100 per. So let's just do it once and bam, there we go. We got our salt and let's jump straight back into trying to preserve more of those hides. Oh yeah, we can we can do a whole heap of them. Okay, so yeah, we are just going to be doing them one at a time like that. And um, you know what? Let's put that cudgel back into our inventory and we'll start playing the bone flute for a little bit here. And we'll keep on crafting. Okay, we're out of rawhide. So it either has rotten or... Yep, unfortunately it did. Okay, so what we could have done, we could have done a big batch because it kind of preserves it, but at the same time, it's a little gamey, it's a little cheaty. So I'm okay that we still managed to get a whole heap of cured hides out of that. So I chalked that up as a win for us. We do have a rhizome and a cattail stalk left over, so we could look at cooking up the rhizome, but I feel like turning it into starch, it does give us more in general. Oh, you know what? Back to scrambled eggs. Yeah, we, I guess we can do one lot of that. We'll use our smoked meat and we'll eat those portions. Nice. Okay, so at this stage, I'm not really worried about anything else going off. We do need those stones, though, to get kind of progressing here. So we're going to be heading outside. We're going to be smashing some rocks. Well, I am hoping that it's going to be, you know, a nice day outside. Seemingly, yeah, it's cloudy. All right. Got the rest of our long sticks down here and our broken cudgel. Well, not broken, but on its way to being broken. Let's see if we can smash some of these boulders, eh? Oh, first smash. <laughs> there we go. And 17 rocks from that. Very nice. Uh, how many can we fit into our backpack? A fair few. And we got some flint. All right, next boulder down here. Two. <laughs> there we go. So much better. Uh, we're just going to have to haul it along for now. 
I will just haul it back. We're close enough. We've got another two. Quite close. Having trouble with this one though. Let's just stop hauling. See if that makes a difference at all. There we go. Excellent. And we'll just do the other before we head back. Excellent. Okay, we'll do a tally when we get back to the rest of the stuff here. And see how much we're actually looking at. Uh, we'll go grab and uh, 77 rocks. We needed, what, 73, I think I said. So that should be all that we need to make all of those smoking racks and the stone fireplace downstairs. Honestly, I feel like right this second, the stone fireplace is going to be more of a priority for us. So for that, we need just 40 rocks. So we'll go and separate those off for now. Actually, we do have more rocks in our inventory. <laughs> Yeah, we've got, we've got 95 rocks now. Okay, 40 rocks. We'll grab those and we'll make our way downstairs. Righto. Okay, so this is where things are going to get interesting, right? Because uh, we are going to need... A f oh, actually, no, we won't need a fire to, to kind of work by here. Yeah, because this is sunlight that we have right in this spot here. We could always make our fireplace slightly off towards the side. So we don't have to worry about dismantling this fire or anything else like that right this second. Yeah, I think the stone fireplace just in this position here would work out for us. Let's see. Oh yeah, of course, we still need to make the bloody shovel. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Let's uh, put that cudgel back into our inventory for now. We'll start playing that bone flute of ours and we'll start working on the on the shovel for a little while longer. It's gonna take a while for us to do it. Uh, we're going to automatically put wood into there if we need to. So let's work on a craft, work on that shovel. And there we go, halfway through. Okay, I'm going to stop at 70% there. That's a pretty decent amount of progress that we've made so far. We're starting to get a little bit more weary. I want to make sure that we have something to eat, something to drink, that we're going to be all good. Ah, so for starch, we do actually need to have two rhizomes. We've only got the one at the moment. So we'll just go ahead and cook up that one rhizome. We'll knock that back for some calories. And we'll drink that water of ours just to get nice and slaked and satisfied. We're tired, but we are going to continue on. 90% and we're slowing down a lot. So I think at that point, once we start to slow down at a rate that I'm just not seeing proper progress, that's when it's safe to call it. We're very hungry again. I do want to see what the time of day is as we're playing our flute here. Okay, it is late afternoon, so we could probably finish this tonight. We just need to take a little while just to just to chill out here, really. So let's just wait. We're very wary. The tiredness is also going to be taking an effect on our speed. And you know what? Let's actually stop playing the bone flute just for a little while because uh, that is slowing us down. Our mood is already pretty good. Just going to make some more cattail seeds while we're sitting here. Ah, and we've got one egg that we can cook up at the moment. The raptor eggs are no good, so we won't worry about them. Uh, we will say yes to use clean water, and we'll finish working on that boiled egg. Have a munch on that. Obviously, I'm trying to avoid, you know, um, eating our smoked meat at the moment, because it's, you know, we're keeping it for now. I'm also not sure if we want to try and make anything with the rotten stuff that we've got here. We don't want to leave rotten food around for too long because obviously that's that's not very healthy for us. Let's jump back towards the shovel, see if we can work on that for a little while longer. And okay, we are feeling dead tired at this stage, so I think it's probably worth us stopping. I think we're going to be able to finish that off tomorrow without too much trouble. Our weight is normal today. We've had high calorie intake. And we've got five days on that fat. We are definitely going to process it, don't worry. But uh, I, yeah, I'd really like to get this fireplace built. For now though, we'll inspect the fire. It does need some wood. One log should be enough to see us through for the night. So we'll shuffle that on over into the firing there. It is actually in there. We just had a filter on. And I think we probably will wear the blindfold tonight because uh, it's gonna take us a little bit longer to get to sleep, I think. So let's put it on and we'll call it a night. Okay. The smoke got us. <laughs> that's okay. We'll just wait a little while here. Yep. We're going to take damage. That's that's unfortunate, but that's just the way it is. We aren't actually tired now, so probably a good chance for us to, to wake, wake up and see what the time of day is. Poking our head outside. I think it's early morning. <laughs> I know I've looked at that before and I've thought it's the whole bloody you know day that we've slept, which is always possible, but no, I'm pretty sure that we are looking at the evening at the moment. Um, it is day 28 at the moment, so we are, we're right on the cusp of summer. 
And I think, hmm, I think we're out of logs. Okay, we've got 14 hours, so yeah, that's all right. I'd like to start the day by making some herbal tea. It's gonna take us about an hour to do that. We'll pour that into the large sealed stomach. Drink some of that to get started. And we do need to have something uh, proper to eat this morning, which means that we could try and process some of that fat. Obviously, if we're processing that into lard, we are gonna get crackling from that, so yeah, I think we'll do that, but we don't get any batch savings, so we're just going to do it one at a time, just because I feel like that's the smarter way to do it. So, let's see, Cracklin, where are you at? There you are. Okay, we'll go ahead and eat all of that for now, because that's just going to be delicious, and obviously we do have some lard that we could eat, should we desire. We do not desire. Uh, we will go make a little bit more lard, though. And as we can see, the lard is going to last for a full season. The crackling lasts for five days, so that's also pretty good for us. Um, you know what? Moderate calories. Let's go ahead and just eat the rest of this crackling for now. There we go. High calorie intake. We're already feeling tired. Not a great start to the day. So obviously we do need to sleep a lot more still. But uh, we're going to make the most of this. We are going to try and see if we can finish off this damn shovel. And there we go. Took us barely any time to just push past that final stretch there. Now we've got ourselves a damn shovel. Let's grab a hold of that. If we move over here, we should be able to start working on this stone fireplace, and indeed we can. It's only two hours, which really ain't all that bad. Um, okay, so this is going to be venting smoke up through the hole that's here, so that we won't have to worry about smoke again in the future. <laughs> Quite literally. Uh, stop the construction for a second. <laughs> it's like the fire knows. It's like it knows that Helmer is about to get away from the smoke. So with one last wispy grasp, it tries to bring us down. We are going to continue working on this. And bam, there we go. A stone fireplace. A marvel. We've come a long way, Helmer. We certainly have. A common fixture for safely housing a fire indoors with a chimney to vent the smoke to the outside. So good. Ah, we love it. So, I mean, we might as well let this fire finish today. Um, yeah. <laughs> and the rest of the stones that we have, um, we'll just leave them alone for now. Ha, huh, we didn't get any stones back from this though, which is interesting. Obviously we have a lot of charcoal there. Um, and it's just long, I guess we didn't use any long sticks, did we? Yeah, so we'll, we'll take these sticks up top, we'll grab them all. Uh, the charcoal we were going to want to bring up there eventually. We've got no meat to process right now, so we're not going to worry about that. But I think we are going to work on the rest of those smokers up the top. Ah, yeah, yeah, it is the morning currently. It's a nice clear day outside, so that's going to give us a chance to just... Well, I was going to say do light work. It's not It's not really light, unfortunately. It's going to keep us a little busy. It's actually pretty busy laborious work but an hour and a half at a time isn't that bad and we can stop these constructions if we desire we'll use the long sticks that are on our person there we go that is yet another smoking rack so we'll go and chuck our final one for this little section down here and bam there we go three smoking racks and it really didn't take us that long to do my gosh, I wish we had those before we made that kill, but you know, here we are. Let's just drink some herbal tea for now, get slaked, and um, we'll go and chuck in another one of these just up here. And I'm thinking maybe four is going to be enough, you know, because that way we can kind of split up the charcoal a little bit more. Yeah, let's go and construct that just here. Ah, uh, oh no, oh no, and we're outside, oh boy. Reality is beginning to break. It is subtle, but something deep inside you feels the wrongness. Yeah, we are going to stop construction. Um, stop construction, yes. Aha, uh -huh. okay. I'm just trying to see if we can witness the change out here. This is like the first time that Hilmer has been outside when reality is starting to break. I'm just waiting to see if we can see anything. We're not hearing squealing yet. We're just looking out the front of our cave, trying to see if there is anything actually here. We're not seeing portals. I guess that gives you effectively warning, like, hey, 
get inside. And you know what? We're probably going to do that. I think once we start hearing squealing, we might poke our head up. But yeah, I'm glad that Hilma has a good sense of uh, the world breaking. Uh, okay, well, now that we're down here, now that we have, uh, I guess, a little bit of time, um, unfortunately, not much time left on this fire. We do have some sticks and things like that down here that we could burn. Actually, you know what? We've got a whole heap of coal. The coal does burn pretty quickly, though. Um, the charcoal kiln that we've got here, I am going to want to take that apart and uh, build that back up the top. So we will deconstruct that simple furniture. Oh, there's the squealing. Uh, we're going to ignore that just for now. Uh, that should have given us all the rocks back. Yep, I think it gave us all but one. Yeah. Let's just poke our head upstairs for a moment. We'll peek. Okay, peeking does that. That's right. It's uh, it's strange. Yep, there is a portal storm going on. And we are still getting the, um, the strange tile set error when it comes to those. So probably better that we do stay down here for now. Um, we, we seem to be safe underground. And, you know, we'll just keep our ears out to see if we hear any um, disturbances, you know? And these raptor eggs, we're just going to go chuck them in the fire just so that we don't accidentally use them in anything. We've got a lot of wood ash there too. You know what? We could actually get some of these hides on the go. We've got the tan bark needed to do it. Two hours and 17 minutes. Um, our applied science isn't quite good enough at the moment though, which is the uh, kind of the only concern of mine because it's like our practical isn't good enough. Um, maybe we just do, maybe we just do one. Let's see. <sighs> we're hearing squeals. Stop crafting. Nope, we're okay. Oh, okay. And reality fades. Or rather, the damage to reality fades. Good, and we actually finished that. Uh, did that get our skill back up? Not quite. Not quite. Okay, but we did manage to get the tanning leather hide from that. I'll tell you what, we're going to take these rocks. We're going to head outside with that. We will just take one extra rock. Uh, or, or not. We'll, we'll take them all for the, for the time being. And we'll just continue working on the smoking rack. Finish that off. Done. We're feeling warm. Summer is nearly here. Okay, so this is another thing that we're going to have to contend with. We are, we're actually going to be warm outside. We've been, you know, cold for such a long time that uh, dealing with warmth is something that we're going to have to do. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, well, we stop hauling for now. Uh, I want to get a charcoal kiln on the go. And we can. We can. Two hours for us to make it. We'll start that process and we'll finish it. <laughs> Okay, that was actually pretty easy. I think it's a good idea to keep this lean-to here, to keep this firing here, just so that we can do work, you know, up here, not necessarily down in the cave the whole time. We wanna make sure that we charge these with an equal amount of charcoal. So I'm gonna go down, grab what we've got so far. We can also use bone in here to get charcoal, which I don't know if that's the route that we wanna go, at the same time, there isn't actually too much that we can use our bone for at the moment. We can make bone broth, we can also make bone glue, which is definitely important, but we don't need, you know, the, the massive amount of bones that we have at the moment. Hey, our fire's gone out. Well, that's alright. We definitely need to make sure that we get some more logs before tonight. Yeah, it's still a little cold down here. 670 charcoal, which we are just going to drag the rest of that along the floor here. Okay, so to fill this, we need to put 500 charcoal in each of these. So we'll start off by putting 500 into this one up here. So that's a fully charged smoking rack. Um, we are definitely going to need more charcoal then. So with this, we can just put 170 in. So this has got a whole heap. We could kind of split it between them, but the thing is, for, for every liter of food that we put in there, we can put a maximum of 20. It requires 25 charcoal, I think it is. So yeah, for 20 liters worth of that, we're gonna need 500, uh, which is which is chunky. That's a, that's a fair amount. Uh, we've got everything we need to go do some chopping, so we should do that. We'll head on up. Our 
comfortable temperature is rising out here uh, so much so that yeah that warmth might be might be an issue we'll we'll, uh, we'll keep our eyes on that for now we're actually not going to go that hard on the wood chopping today i think we're pretty much just going to chop this one chop that oh well that actually that took a lot it took a lot for us to be able to do that and uh we got two logs out of that which is enough for one night's worth of warmth and i think we do still need that warmth down in the cave so we're gonna drag this stuff back home and uh be not dehydrated there we go the fireplace has been ignited we do need to hope that we are going to get enough warmth from it over here hmm yeah there we go that should be enough and we're in darkness as well so we don't need to worry about the blindfold well we do with it being outside we're chilly at the moment our temperature is rising we should be able to get to comfortable no problem or maybe not <laughs> or maybe not that could that could still be a problem for us it seems that even after you know yeah you know what we're gonna try to go to sleep see if that works out for us we'll plop ourselves down and we are getting proper sleep it seems hey survive for a month <laughs> and we are we are awake at the stage we aren't feeling tired which is great we'll take off the blindfold to start the day our fire is still going and there's seven to ten hours on that which is fantastic uh, we still have a log left over at the moment we are feeling good right at the end of spring so obviously we have a lot of things that we need to get done today we were still getting a little chilly last night so right now it's not a problem for us um having our fireplace where it is i mean the thing is we could have had it closer because it doesn't emit smoke but it was just the idea of being able to extend the you know the light that we're getting from this place maybe that was a mistake maybe we will need to move it we will see it only takes two hours to do so that's not it's not going to break the bank I think it would be smart to try and get onto processing more of the fat into lard. So we'll start working on that at the moment. It's only going to take 13 minutes at a time. We've got some of that done. We're going to have uh, some of that for breakfast, actually. So we'll start knocking that back. It's obviously not the most healthy thing in the world for us to do. We can see that it's actually giving us a negative to our health. So we don't want to be doing that all the time. <laughs> In actual fact, we are going to start eating more of our smoked meat as well, just to up our calorie intake. Um, yeah, the crackling we'll have as a treat. It lasts for four days as well. We will still make sure that we eat it, but uh, yeah, we just need to be worried that it's not the greatest thing for us to be eating. We're going to make some herbal tea for ourselves, pour that into our sealed stomach, and we'll get a slurping on that. All right, so with things getting warmer outside, I'm thinking we're probably going to be able to use our stone shovel to start tilling some ground. We're going to go and take this digging stick of ours and just drop it into the fire because uh, we're done with it. We are done with it. And we are going to grab all of the seeds that we can find around here. So we're just going to do an all around search. We've got 68 cattail seeds, but I do wonder if they need to be planted near water they might need that we are lucky to see another clear day outside at the moment and yeah we need to figure out how we are going to start to try and farm this area i'm thinking if we till the ground along here this will be a nice little kind of farm plot for us so let's get activating so we're churning up the earth at the moment which i'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that's what we need to be doing. It's the same as tilling. And this is gonna, it's gonna take us a bit to do it. We can actually set up areas that we want to till, but I'm just gonna go through bit by bit because I wanna make sure that we aren't exhausting ourselves. We're already tired and we are starting to get a little warm too. All right, so we've churned up a fair amount of that earth there. We can, we can plant cattail seeds, which if, if it allows us to plant them here, great because uh yeah that'll be that'll be fantastic really uh we've got a lot of them that we can plant um which obviously tilling all the soil here that's uh that's quite a lot of work and i'm probably going to try and keep them separate like that yeah huh. i think what we might do for the time being is actually just take off our leather cloak just like so and we'll check our temperature. Yeah, we're fine. <laughs> we are fine. Okay, and that's a whole nother section 
all tilled. Kind of want to chop down this tree. It's a cottonwood tree. Can't do anything with it right now. But it's, you know, it's a little bit in the way, isn't it? So let's let's see how difficult it would be for us to chop this down with our stone axe head. Uh, actually, not too bad. Um, make it fall that way, thanks. If a tree falls in a forest and no one is around to hear it, does it make a sound? Timber. We chopped down our first tree and we lost the conduct, the elven path, because, uh, yep, that's, that's the first tree felled in this area. Uh, the trunk, we definitely want to make sure that we are going to get rid of you. So we'll just go for that first of all, chop that into pieces and it's just going to be, yeah, chunks. I don't want to work too hard today. We are a little tired, uh, but you know what? I would like to get maybe one more lot of logs. Nice. And we're very hungry. We will we will go have dinner very, very soon, but I just want to get the last of this uh, little area here tilled. There we go. And we're going to get that planted with all these cattail seeds. And we'll work on that log tomorrow. If we could head downstairs now, have something to eat and drink and then go to sleep early, I think that would set us up pretty nicely for tomorrow. I am kind of tempted to chuck one of these logs into here and fire it up. We will need a, a fire source to be able to do that though, so let's not worry about that right now. Look at this, we're warm in here and we're not even wearing our cloak. I think we might have to make that uh, grass shirt for ourselves. We've still got a lot of um, withered plants which we could use to make it. Um, obviously, we've got a lot of leather as well, but leather is a little warm. Um, it's not too warm, and I think we'd be able to get away with wearing, you know, something basic and leather. Even if it's just a chest wrap, I feel, I feel like that's something that we are going to want to try and make. But you know what, right now, I would like for us to try and see if we can get our sleep schedule, you know, a little bit better. We're tired, we're not dead tired right now, but that can change very quickly. We're just going to have some herbal tea to drink. We had a moderate calorie intake today. We're just going to have some more of our smoked meat which is going to, um, you know, it's enjoyable for us, but it is, um, you know, it is going to make us a little dehydrated. I say that just as we go to being hydrated. Uh, let's look at the fire. How are you looking? Okay, so we, you are going to need a new log, so I'm glad that we went out there. We'll go and chuck that log in there for now. And, um, yeah, I think we're going to put on this blindfold. We'll put on our leather cloak to sleep, just because I'm a, I am still a little concerned about it being too cold for us. And before we go to sleep can we yeah <laughs> with the blindfold on play with caterpillar for a few minutes there we go jump back into here we're nice and comfortable temperature wise let's hope it stays that way i think tomorrow is going to be summer okay time to sleep okay i wasn't quite right there is still another day of spring this is day 30 of spring the last day of spring in actual fact we wake up we're feeling pretty damn good the fire is still going it's going to be going for most of the rest of the day that is good news for us it is dark out though so we've actually woken up a little early we had enough sleep seemingly okay well let's have something to eat we will have some more of our smoked meat because it's here for us to munch on crackling we'll have once it starts to get a little bit close to being off and you we're going to process you. I haven't forgotten. I haven't. I swear. Let's have some more herbal tea. We get slaked. And I wouldn't mind making some more of that if we do have any more. Mm, maybe not. What other kind of tea can we make? Lotus tea? We can make just the one. But I think we'll just leave it at that for now. We'll head outside. And we'll continue working. Oh yeah, it is. It's not even morning yet at this stage. Okay, well it's going to be a comfortable temperature for us outside still chilly and rising we'll keep our we'll keep our cloak on for now and i think we'll start the day by chopping that into logs there we go we'll move that to the side for now and uh, we can pretty much keep on working on what we were working on it's a cloudy day today it is chilly but for the most part i think we're going to stay nice and warm let's activate our shovel and we'll keep on tilling up the earth around here and you know what in these positions i think i'm going to go down a little bit further look at us farming wild there we go okay so let's get the rest of the stuff planted oh it's too cold ah so there we go we were right on the edge of actually being able to plant things right the second it's too cold but um i reckon by midday i think it'll probably be warm enough for us to plant some more so for the time being, we are just going to go and till the earth some more. Okay, I am pretty happy with that. 
Temperature is now gone to comfortable. Let's see. Mm, still too cold. Okay, I guess we will get back to that. Uh, we've got three logs, so I'd love to load this up at this stage. So we'll put all of those logs in there. Oh, just two logs is enough to fill it. Okay, good to know. And, huh? We fire it? How? How did... <laughs> we didn't have a fire source. I get... Oh, we've, we've got the fire drill on us, so I'm guessing we just started it that way. All right, well, um... I guess we'll leave these logs up here for now because we can still put it in here after the rest of that charcoal is done. But we're gonna head downstairs. I'm gonna see if we can maybe look at making us some clothing. But really, we should process the lard, yeah. Okay, we've got enough time on that fire. Let's jump in, have a look at that lard. Ah, uh, we don't save any time by batching it. This, there's so much. And we're going to get a, a lot of crackling from this as well. Tallow does last for longer though. We get 12 portions from one block of this. Uses three fat. We only get three portions in the same amount of time to make lard. We already do have some lard, so maybe making some tallow might be a better idea. Yep, you know what? We're going to go start making some tallow. And just having a look for tanning, we can use lard or tallow. Going to eat some smoked meat, drink some tea. I'm going to keep on at this tallow. And honestly, just to save me some sanity, because for some reason the clean water thing happens every single time I'm working on this, we are going to, we're going to batch craft a, a whole heap of it. For, oh yeah, hmm. Maybe, maybe let's just go for the, uh, the, the two hour variation. And I guess the good thing is we can actually tell when the sun sets, because this area here will go dark. Uh, so that's one good thing about having the fireplace a little bit further away. All right, look. This only takes 20 minutes for us to make. I think we're going to make the chest wrap. Yeah, it's using two of our tanned hides to do it. That's okay. We can sacrifice that. We've got a lot of cured hides. Uh, we will start tanning more of them eventually. But uh, yeah, it, it, I feel like I feel like we deserve this. There we go. Oh, man. Okay, our torso is very encumbered now. Um, because we are actually wearing quite a bit of stuff on that. I think it's probably worth us taking off the, the loop of rope. So if we go unload and we unload that, uh, we can maybe store some things in there. Okay. It looks like we can store most of our things actually in our pack. Uh, that's a lie. There's lots of things in the loop of rope still. So we'll just say drop items for now. And then we can just drop that loop of rope on the ground. Okay. Torso is looking so much better. Look at that barely any encumbrance at all. Hell yeah. Right? Well, we're very hungry again, so let's go eat some more of that smoked meat of ours. Very high calorie intake today. That's okay. We like it. We'll drink some of that tea as well. The sun is still up, so let's work on some more tallow. Okay. Right. We've got quite a bit of it done now. As you can see, that's a, that's a lot of tallow, and we still have many chunks of fat left so it's good that we started this processing now because oh boy it's a it's a lot of processing uh as we can see it's it is lasting a season which is about the same amount of time that the lard is lasting there is something that we can do to improve the shelf life of all of our food and that is digging a root cellar so for the root cellar we need to have 40 rocks which we would we nearly have it requires a pit we can dig a pit fabrication four though that is something that we will need to work on. Uh, we are going to pop upstairs real quick because uh, I would like to plant some more. Oh, it's midday at the moment. Man, we've got so much of the day left. Excellent. I guess that's one of the good things about waking up so early. And yep, we can get to planting too. So let's go plant a whole heap of these. I was just thinking then that I can automate this process a little bit and make it easier for us. And you know what? I think it's I think it's probably worth us doing that. So. If we jump into here, the zone manager, which is shift Y for us to do it, we can make a farm plot. Um, and we just select what seeds you want to go there, cattail, so this will be cattail one. We go all the way down like that, and that's it. That's all you need to do. Um, yeah, that's cattail. And um, we'll go and add another one. We'll say save changes for now. And I think, I think if we hit shift O, farm plots, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> so much easier. Uh, and we can also till by doing that. So it just automates the tilling process for us. Um, we're going to do the same thing again, just on these other ones. Okay, so I've added all of those as cattail plots. We'll just 
do that. <laughs> we planted all of our cattail seeds. Uh, now, how many do we have left at this stage? We've still got 31 left, so I feel like we can probably dig out some more. I'm kind of tempted. We should be able to... Yeah, we do have a shovel, though. Actually, we don't have... How have we been digging this if we don't have the shovel? I'm not going to ask questions. I'm just going to go... Because we haven't been digging right on. We've just been planting. Okay, let's go get our shovel. Yep, leaving our cudgel behind. Let's go... Let's go get this work done. So yes, the first thing that we're going to do is try and... Yeah, clear out the rocky rubble. Okay, just like that. Now, we should be able to till the area as well. So if we go add and we go to our farm plot, cattail seeds zone name is cattail we should probably call them like cattail one cattail two etc but i think it's fine so that's what we want we'll save it and we will get to work and oh boy yeah it takes it takes a bit for us to do it but we get it done we're very hungry after doing that uh how are we looking 20 seeds left at the stage all right let's uh let's do one more i should really have some pocket crackling out here with us okay we've got some more and we're gonna go to work on those all right, starting to get quite weary. I feel like that's a pretty good amount of cattails planted. We've got nine seeds left at the stage. Um, yeah, that is that is good to see. Now, I might have completely screwed us over because there is a chance that these seeds do need a fair amount of water nearby them to actually grow. If properly tended to, it could grow into a healthy plant. I mean, that's, that's the hope, right? Yeah, we don't have any fertilizer. And I wonder, I, I imagine we don't know how to make... We do know how to make fertilizer, liquid fertilizer, just bone meal, chitin powder, and bird litter. We can make fertilizer. That, that's not an option for us, but we can make liquid fertilizer. Yeah, we just need water. Um, there's a lot of bird litter around here. Bone meal, we don't have bone meal yet, but we will as soon as we can get a kern going. And that's something that we probably should look at making. Let's head downstairs for now and get fed. It is getting later in the day, but it certainly isn't late yet. Let's just have two things of crackling for now, and we'll have the rest of <laughs> smoked meat. Huge calorie intake. Yep, that uh, that is certainly true. And we'll just sip on some of our clean water there. Okay, we've gotten pretty full from doing that. So having a look at our armor options going forwards, because yeah, armor is something that we are going to need. Chitin. It has a bash and a cut protection of 12 and 16, which is pretty decent. Even has some acid and environmental protection there as well. Needs a lot of sinew. 300 sinew. We have 333 and we killed a freaking dinosaur. We also need a lot of chitin to be able to do that. Leather armor, on the other hand, has a bash protection of 4, cut protection of 12. And it just requires leather patches or tanned hides. So we're actually very close to being able to make this armor right now. We just need a few more tanned hides and we would be there. It's a fair bit of work to do it, but it's certainly possible. So we need to do something about our applied science, don't we? We, we kind of want to try and see if we can get that back up to two. Because while we were able to work on making that tanned hide, it still makes me really nervous. Um... Let's see, we do have that one there. I think that's good to go. Okay, we shake it clean. So that one worked. Applied science is 99% at the moment. I do worry that even doing this won't make it better because we need to do the easier thing first, if that makes sense in a way. So having a look at things that require applied science, bone glue. Bone glue is something that we can make that we don't have anything of right now, or alternative I was going to say we could make salt water. No, that's not. The salt water isn't a good option. That was just for level one. This is a both lye and bone glue would get us up there. Bone glue we actually need at the moment. So that's not a waste. We've got 600 bones. Okay, we, we can probably put some of those in the in the <laughs> kiln upstairs. Uh, but let's go ahead and say, yes, we do want to make that. And we will work on that bone glue. It's only half an hour for us to do that. Did that help? No, it didn't. Our applied science is still only 99. Our focus is really good as well. That is disappointing. Well, you know what? Screw it. We're just going to go straight back into the tan, the tanning of these hides. We can batch to save time. I think in this instance, we just, uh, we don't want to waste any hides. So let's go to work and see. Ah, it works. Okay. Applied science, no higher. <laughs> so we're not, we're not seemingly, we're not, we're not getting it above one at this point. So we just need to go back in and continue working on the craft. That one there. And that's another hide 
well, set to be ready. Um, I'd like to work until the end of the day on these if we can. Oh, we can no longer make that craft. Okay, well, what are we, what are we missing? We're probably missing something to tan it with, right? Yeah, we need to have pine boughs or tan bark or brains or acorns. Uh, we don't have any of those things right now. We have many, many <laughs> cured hides. But yes, we will need, uh, we will need pine boughs and all the rest. We've only got a few here at the moment. So we could head outside and have a look at grabbing some of those before the end of today. You know what? I feel like that'll set us up nicely if we can, so we're going to give it a shot. Also, let's check in on this and see how it's... Oh, okay. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of charcoal. Excellent. Well, we're going to go and move this over to the other ones here. Okay, that is now fully charged onto this one. Put 500 into here. We're actually going to have some left over, which is great. Reload down here. 500. Okay, nice. So we're just going to keep the rest of this charcoal up here. For the time being just so we can see that it's there but all of these are ready for a full load of um of meat you know what we can actually overcharge them can't we so maybe maybe we want to do that let's just go put another 500 into here okay a thousand charcoal charges nice all right we've got our pines out the back here we'll start picking those bowels off all right we've got a whole heap of them at this stage uh we've got even more in our pack as well let's take them back downstairs there we go let's just give caterpillar a little bit of a play around at the moment we should make armor for caterpillar that would be amazing <laughs> um all right let's have hmm i was gonna say something to eat you know we'll probably just drink for now our calorie intake is huge we don't want to we don't want to overdo it but um i think we are getting closer to the point where we have that little bit of extra weight on us We've come a long way, Hilma. Okay, and the sun has finally set at this stage. We've got a whole heap of uh, tanning leather hides over here at the moment. We'll have even more tomorrow. For now, though, we are going to be able to sleep. And when tomorrow arrives, we are going to be on the first day of summer. It's been 30 days since we arrived here. A whole month. And weirdly enough... The seasons work on a monthly basis here. You know, time, time's a weird soup in this place. And you know what, Hilma? That's okay. Because right now, we are fully clothed. We have a leather cloak. We have a grass skirt. We have our leather chest wrap. We got our birch bark shoes. We got it going on. And because of that massive kill in the last episode, we haven't had to worry about food this whole time. Well, I mean, we're still processing the food at the moment. But the main takeaway is that we're not worrying about food as much. And if it looks like that smoked meat is getting to the point where it's going to be going off, I think we will still eat all of it within these three weeks. But even if that's the case, we can smoke it again to make it dehydrated. Don't know why I split it up like that. But yes, there are still many projects that I want to work on here. I'm glad that we have got some of those cattails back in the ground but with summer we're going to be able to harvest fruit we'll be sure to keep some seeds of them as well but it opens up a whole vast range of cooking possibilities for us including booze but that is all for the future we got two big construction projects coming up building a root cellar building a well very important but i think before we do those things we can have some more basic comforts something like a log stool that sounds pretty nice to me just another few days spent here at Hotel Oscar. Legion, I sincerely hope you have enjoyed today's episode. And if you have, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. I've just recently updated the description with a new link to the Cataclysm Launcher. If you don't have it yet, I highly recommend you go and grab that as that's the easiest way to gain access to all the mods that I use in this series. Be sure to use the experimental version and you'll be all set. Well, for now, I have been Rykon, you have all been awesome, and until next time, stay tuned. And finally, I'd like to extend a great big thank you to the Legion on Patreon who continue to make this content possible.